Hey everybody, I'm, I just got done watching the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer on YouTube, and I am here to give my thoughts on the overall trailer, on, on all the elements of what I think about it and everything like that. If you saw my last video that I did, um, it was called the X-Men Days of the Future Past trailer. And I mentioned, um, well, in that video that they were going the right, right direction and all that crap. Um, I, I do, uh, and now, uh, I, I mentioned that um, all because I've read some X-Men comic books. I've read uh, some of the issues. I, I, haven't really, I haven't read every issue of X-Men and all that because there's been multiple, multiple issues of that series of that particular franchise so yeah there's been lots of issues of that of that series of x-men but anyway the actual trailer for the Asian spider-man 2 and and now i know that i'm hoping that it's going to be a good movie that's all i'm going to say about this uh trailer I, i'm not going to say that's going to uh, that it's going the right direction or anything like that because I know I'm, I'm going to get a comment down below saying well you're wrong and you know, all that I might be wrong so I'm not going to mention it this time I'm just hoping for a good movie because I might be wrong I might be wrong that it might, might it, it might not it may not be good well be going the right it may not be going the right direction so yeah and and my overall thoughts on the trailer for the Amazing Spider-Man 2, I think that it looks really good from the trailer. It looks pretty interesting, and the suit looks really good. And I actually had no problems with the original suit that they had for it, um, for the original film that came out in 2012 last year, which I went and saw in theaters, and I loved. I loved that original movie. It was a great origin story and all that. And I think that that origin story was actually done a lot better than Sam Raimi's version, just my opinion. But anyway, I loved um, the the original Mason Spider-Man movie. I think it's really good. I mean, Andrew Garfield was great as Spider-Man slash Peter Parker, and I really love Emma Stone. Emma Stone is great as Gwen Stacy, and that was a story that was in the original comic books, in the original 1960s comic books. That was the original story, okay? Uh, not Mary. Mary Jane doesn't come on until later on in the series. So, yeah, I've read I've read quite a bit of comic books for Spider-Man. So yeah, um, yeah, but Mary Jane doesn't come on it doesn't come along until w later on in the books. But anyway, that's not the issue. The well, the point is is that I'm hoping that this will be a good movie, and and the overall casting, the casting is good, but I do have one problem with the cast. J Jamie Foxx as Electro. I don't hate Jamie Foxx, I think he's a good actor, but seriously, Electro? No, not a, not a good choice. Is that a good choice? Is that a good decision? No, I don't think that that's a good decision, and they agree with it, and I kinda get over it, but I, I still don't agree with it. And I'm gonna tell you why he's not truly um, Electro, because he doesn't have the look of Electro, he doesn't feel uh, like that character, I don't really see him as that character, you know, like, if you've seen him in the actual cartoon and all the shows and, and the comic books and all that, totally different villain, totally different villain, um, you know, but in this trailer, it just, it, I, I like how it's different, but... That wasn't really the point. The point was that I, I, I went to um, Electro, not a different version of Electro, you know? But, yeah, um, yeah, Jimmy Fox is not a, 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 good, a good choice. I think that he's a good actor, but I just don't, I think he's, well, he's going to be good as Electro. I just don't think so. That's just my personal opinion. So... A better decision would have been Joseph Gordon Loveth or maybe Michael Fossbender or something like that. But just not Jimmy Fox, I think. Just my opinion. 
Yeah, so, yeah, you can just leave me any comments you want, guys. You can just leave me any complaints, whatever you want. I'm just giving my personal opinion, so, yeah. So, just welcome to the, uh, welcome to the internet, guys. So, yeah. If you think if you think differently, that's cool. I mean, it's your opinion, whatever. But I think that Jamie Foxx is just miscast as Electro. I just I think I think that Electro is miscast. I think. But yeah. Anyway, that's just one issue I have with. Uh, I I actually have with the entire project of the film. That that's the only issue issue I have with it. Everything else, I think it's pretty well done. It's pretty well filmed, and I like the shots that that it's filmed in. I, I, I like all the shots and all the stunts and all the and all the and all the special effects in the trailer and everything. And Paul Giamatti is going to play uh, Rhino. Well, he's already on set for Rhino, but yeah, oh, you get the point. But yeah, but. I think Paul, Gino, uh, Paul Giamatti was okay. Um, he was an okay choice for Rhino, but I, I would have preferred somebody else play Rhino. I don't know who, but someone else um, other than Paul Giamatti. But Paul Giamatti does do well. I, I think he's probably going to do well as Rhino. I, I kind of, I, I, I can kind of see that uh, resemblance of, of Rhino a little bit. But, yeah, that's my overall thoughts on the trailer of The Ama Amazing Spider-Man 2. That's coming out in 2014, of May 2nd, May 2nd, 2014. So, yeah, that's my overall thoughts on The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Let me know what you thought of, of the trailer down below. If you guys seen the trailer, let me know what you thought of it. I, I, I'm really curious to know of, of what you guys thought, thought about the trailer yourself. And just leave me, just comment below let me know. And and it, it, and it will all be fine. Trust me, it will all be fine. Trust me. So yeah. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys later. So see you later. Um, yeah, that's about it. See you later.